Hi, Vicki Sokol Evans here, author of the 100 Tips Productivity Series for both PC and Mac. In today's time-saving tip, I'm going to show you how to reduce time zone errors when setting up meetings. I will obviously be using Outlook, but this applies to any calendar program with time zone fields. This means you won't have to rely on your brain or any website or app, and it will be 100% accurate. Okay, let's go. I have an email from my manager, Dan Jump, and you can see that he is emailing me and other team members, Molly and Julian. Now, before I show you the time zone piece of this, I want to show you one extra tip, and that is reply with meetings. I'm going to use a new button, which was introduced in, in Outlook 2010, called reply with meeting. This feature isn't necessarily in all the other applications, but um, in Outlook, we have a button called reply with meeting. So instead of replying with a message, I'm going to click the reply with meeting button. And what that does, it takes everyone on that thread and places them in the to field for this meeting. The subject of the email is now the subject of the meeting request. And then the entire thread from the email is now included in here. Now be careful. If you add people, double check to make sure they're, it's okay for them to see what was in the thread. Okay, I would update the location, and then here's where I start talking about the time zone piece of this. So Dan has asked me to set up a meeting at 3 p.m. London time next Tuesday. Now I'm currently in Central Time, and Dan is in Pacific Time but he may be out in London next week, or maybe there is a VIP in London. I'm not sure why he's asking me to do it in London time zone, but I'm definitely going to put it in London time zone. Rather than go out to a website or use an app to convert the time and try to figure out what to put up here, what I do is I click on the time zones button and when I do that, I get the time zone. So currently, since I'm sitting in central time, it shows me central time. If I was in South Africa, it would show me South African time zone. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. So it says London time. So I'm going to switch the time zone to London. And then here in the start time, I'm going to say Tuesday because today is Sunday. So I have, so if I just put Tuesday, it'll put the next Tuesday. So I put Tuesday and then 3 p.m and then I'll change it to 3.30 p.m. and then I would send it on its way. My recommendation for you, if someone doesn't specify what time zone, what I would do is always put it in the time zone of the most important person. So if we had a, a meeting of 15 people and our CEO is the highest ranking person in the meeting, then I would put it in our CEO's time zone. If we have a guest, if we have a client, uh, attending the meeting, I would probably put it in the client's time zone. What this does is this um, having the time zone set set here in the appointment means that the email server, the mail server is going to handle the conversion. So when it sends it out to all of these people, it will place it on their calendar in their particular time zone. So that's it. That's how you reduce time zone errors when setting up meetings. For the step-by-step -step instructions and more tips like this, be sure to get the book on Amazon and of course, subscribe to this channel. This is Vicki Sokol Evans. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.